Hey, it's Mo Salim here from TripleYourTea.com and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Prime Male Natural Testosterone Booster. But before diving into the review, I just wanna give you two disclaimers. The first one is that I do not have personal experience with Prime Male. Instead, what I've done for my review is look through all of its individual ingredients, dug out all the research, and I'm sharing my analysis of the research with you today. And if you wanna take a look at all the 30 studies that I looked at to compile this review, then you can check out my blog post, which is linked below this video. And my second disclaimer is that I am an affiliate for Prime Mail, all right? So what that means is that if you go on my website and click the link to purchase Prime Mail, then I will receive a commission for that. So if you do decide to check out Prime Mail, send me a receipt of your purchase and I'll send you a copy of my premium course, The Anabolic Nutrition System. All right, so with that being said, let's dive into the Prime Mail ingredient formula. All right, so the primary ingredient in Prime Mail is deaspartic acid. Deaspartic acid is an amino acid that has been known to stimulate regions of the brain that produce uh, luteinizing and follicle stimulating hormone. And these two hormones are actually the precursors to testosterone. But as far as the research on deaspartic and its influence on testosterone goes, the results are pretty mixed. So in one study, subjects given three grams of deaspartic acid for 12 days experience a 42% increase in their total testosterone levels. And these results were also replicated in another study which was actually performed in infertile men who after receiving three grams of deaspartic acid every day for 90 days, experienced anywhere from a 30 to a 90% no, what is it? 30 to a 60% increase in their testosterone. But in other studies that were performed in athletes, when uh, they were given three grams of deaspartic acid for 28 days daily, it failed to have an influence on their testosterone levels or their athletic performance. And when these athletes were actually given a dose of six grams of deaspartic acid, that actually had a negative effect on their testosterone. So based on my analysis of the research, I'd say that supplementing with deaspartic acid can increase testosterone levels in the short term, which seems to be about the 14 day mark. And although this increase may persist in infertile men, testosterone levels return to normal in otherwise healthy men. All right, and the second ingredient in prime male is macuna Prurians. And this is an ingredient that has been used in Indian herbal medicine to treat Parkinson's disease. Today, it is used as an antidepressant, libido enhancer, and testosterone booster. So the active ingredient in Mucuna Prurians is L-DOPA, which is the precursor to dopamine. And dopamine is a neurotransmitter that regulates the reward center in your brain. And it's also a key part in male sexual function. As far as the research on Mucuna prurians and testosterone goes, I was able to find three human studies. So in the first study, chronically stressed men were given five grams of Mucuna prurians five days a week for three months, after which their cortisol levels significantly decreased and the quality of their sperm significantly increased. And in the second study, when otherwise healthy men were given five grams of Mucuna prurians every day for three months, they experienced a 27% increase in their testosterone levels. And these results were replicated in another study as well. So yeah, Mucuna prurians seems to be one of the more effective ingredients in prime meal, and it seems to exert its influence by reducing stress levels, which reduces cortisol, which allows more testosterone to be produced. All right, and the third herbal ingredient inside prime meal is nettle root. So nettle root is actually extracted from the stinging nettle plant, and this has somehow become a very popular ingredient in testosterone boosters, but as far as the research goes, it's pretty weak. So the only human study that looked at stinging nettle and its effect on testosterone levels was performed in men with enlarged prostates. And when these men were given 120 milligrams of stinging nettle for six months, it failed to have an influence on their testosterone. Now, no studies have been performed with stinging nettle on otherwise healthy men, but so far the research is weak. All right, and the fourth ingredient in prime meal is Asian red ginseng. So ginseng provides a host of health benefits ranging from improved cognitive function to improved sexual function. So the research shows that supplementing with ginseng can improve testosterone levels in infertile men, 
but whether this influence carries over in otherwise healthy men still remains to be seen. Another point to note about uh, ginseng is that it is a nitric oxide booster, which means it can improve blood flow and has been shown to improve erectile function as well. All right, so that wraps it up for Prime Mill's herbal ingredients. And now we'll take a look at its vitamin and mineral ingredients. So the thing to understand about vitamins, minerals, and testosterone is that supplementing with them will only increase your testosterone levels to the extent that you are currently deficient in them. So if you're already getting enough vitamins and minerals through your diet, then topping up your levels of them even further will not affect your testosterone. That being said, most men these days are deficient in many key micronutrients. So that's where supplementing Supplementing can definitely help bring your testosterone levels up closer to where they should be. All right, so the first micronutrient ingredient in prime meal is vitamin D. Your skin synthesizes vitamin D upon exposure to the sun, but recent studies show that vitamin D deficiencies are in fact the most prevalent micronutrient deficiency in Western developed countries. And not only does vitamin D play a key role in uh, regulating over 1000 bodily functions, but it's also very important for your testosterone. So multiple studies have found that men who are deficient in vitamin D have significantly lower testosterone levels than men who are sufficient in it. So if you're not getting enough vitamin D through your diet or if you're not spending enough time outdoors, then the 5000 IU dose in prime meal can definitely help bring your levels up closer to where they should be. And in turn, that's also going to help your testosterone. All right, so prime meal also provides 24% of your daily requirement for magnesium and 273% of your daily requirement for zinc. And both of these minerals are very important for testosterone as well as multiple studies have found that if you're deficient in them, then topping up your levels can definitely bring your testosterone levels up as well. And as it turns out, magnesium deficiencies are actually the second most common micronutrient deficiency in Western developed countries after vitamin D. As for zinc, a lot of it is lost through sweat. So if you sweat a lot, supplementing with zinc can be important as well. All right, and finally, Prime Mail also packs in five milligrams of boron. And boron is a trace mineral that's been found to be pretty important for bone health and cognitive function. And boron has also been studied for its effects on testosterone. So I was able to find two human studies that looked at the effects that boron has on testosterone. And in the first one, when eight healthy men were given 10 milligrams of boron for seven days, their testosterone levels elevated by over 28% and their estrogen levels, get this, were slashed by 64%. And this happened just after seven days. Now these are pretty drastic results, but keep in mind that the study was only performed over seven days. So we can't say for sure whether these results will carry over the long term as well. So in a longer term study, male bodybuilders were given 2.5 milligrams of boron every day for six weeks, or was it seven weeks, something like that. And it failed to have an influence on their testosterone. So yeah, definitely more research is needed to look at boron and its effects on testosterone because the first study that I told you about was way too short in its time span and the second study I told you about although it was long the dose was only 2.5 milligrams so it would definitely be interesting to note what the effect would be of a 5 to 10 milligram dose over the long term so at this point the results regarding boron and testosterone are inconclusive all right and that about wraps it up for this review on prime males ingredient formula and if you want to check out all the studies that I've referenced in this video, I've linked out to my blog post, which you can check out. And there are over 30 human studies that I looked at to put this video together, all right? And once again, I want to mention that this review is not based on personal experience. I have not used Prime Mail before and I am an affiliate for them. So if you decide to buy, buy it through the link on my website, I will receive a commission for that. And if you do end up buying, then send me a receipt of your purchase and I'll send you a free copy of my premium course, The Anabolic Nutrition System, all right? So with that being said, this has been Mo Salim. I hope that my review has been helpful for you and provided you with the information you were looking for and going to allow you to make an evidence-based decision before purchase. That's all for now and I'll see you soon.